Uh, I'm David Robson, the author of The Expectation Effect, which examines the extraordinary potential of our mindsets to change our lives. This builds on a new theory from neuroscience which sees the brain as a prediction machine which is constantly simulating the future and these simulations can change our physiological state. Now that's really important in fitness. Studies have shown, for example, that your perceptions of your own fitness can change your experience at the gym. So for in, uh, they can even change your uh, physiological reaction to exercise. So one example of this is that if you think you're less fit than the average person, then you're more likely to, to struggle to efficiently pump oxygen from the uh, lungs through the heart into the limbs. And your expectations can also determine how many muscle fibers you recruit during exercise. The result is that you'll find it more painful and your endurance will suffer. And you may just be put off, uh, put off from working out altogether. Now, the important thing about this research is that it also suggests some really good ways of changing these expectations to improve our workouts and to help us to get the maximum benefits from the exercise we do. Now, the first suggestion would be to reappraise the feelings of the exercise itself. So, you know, if your muscles are aching and you're out of breath, you could see that as a sign of kind of poor fitness and it's exacerbating this dim view of yourself. But actually what you need to realise is that those symptoms are actually just evidence that the body is doing what it should be doing. So when your muscles are aching, that's a sign that they're actually becoming stronger. When you're out of breath, it shows that the cardiovascular system is actually pushing itself to the limit, so it's going to become more efficient in the future. The second strategy is to avoid upward comparisons to other people. Studies have shown that if you uh, constantly compare yourself to Fitspiration models on Instagram, that that actually creates a more negative view of your own body and your own fitness, and that this has negative consequences for your workouts. It makes them harder and it reduces your endurance. Now, rather than comparing yourself to other people, you should really focus on your own incremental gains. So how you're performing today compared to a month or a year ago. And you should really celebrate every small victory. With time, you'll find that your mindset is changing and hopefully your body too. And you might find that those workouts are actually a source of pleasure rather than a chore.